This project was the how we can make a robot can ride a motorcycle to compete with the world class the professional riders by lap time. And then the, the period itself is only three years. We started from scratch and to be the same level with Valentin Rossi, is a world famous professional rider. It's really, really challenging. That I would say this is kind of too ambitious for us. But uh, otherwise, that project has no meaning because we want to do the uh, moonshot project. Then that's why the, uh, the very ambitious and um, great objectives is important, mandatory. To proceed that kind of project, we cannot do everything by ourselves. So we look for, look for the, the, some partner who has the same vision and the same skill set and also the, some strong the technologies the, uh, for the robotics. Then we could find the SRI International as a joint partner for this project. And uh, when the, we started this project, nobody has answer. Nobody has answer. So uh, we tried to do kind of lean startup the approach. Then in the end of the phase one, is the first year, that we could get uh, this robot can ride a motorcycle autonomously and can make the uh, low speed slalom. Then we got some confidence. Okay, this target, this objective can be achievable. So the, we continue to collaboration, collaborate the, with SRI for the coming the phase two and three. Then uh, this is kind of open innovation. The result was the unfortunately we couldn't the, reach the professional radar level the lap time. We learned a lot of things from the, this project and then uh, we are very, very surprised that how human is great for the cornering and then lighting itself. Very sensitive, very intuitive, very complicated. They can do all of those things very easily, right? Compared with the robot. We need to teach the robot everything but the human can do more kind of intuitively. That's the greatest greatness of the human. Then we put a lot of things down from the phase one with the motorbot, and then we put all of those uh, as possible uh, onto the version two motorbot. But still, the, we have a long way to go to the, our objective level. And then that means that we have so many, so big potential to improve our motorbot to be a real human level in the future. So our project, our challenge will be continued. In 2014, we established a division to develop new business. I wanted to create Moonshot that would transmit Yamaha's spirit and technical capabilities, both within and outside the company. And I wanted the goal to be very challenging one that no one has ever tried before, and filled with a prayerful mind. It can be said that this itself is a character of Yamaha. In other words, it is based on technical insight and at the same time cherishes the inspiration or intuition that shines through after much deliberation. At Yamaha, the spirit of challenge is part of our DNA. Participation in the MotoGP is considered one such example of this, where high technology and talents are fostered through severe competition against rivals. That makes the Yamaha brand shine even more. The approach with Morobot is basically the same. One difference is that this time, Yamaha has, by itself, determined the competitor for their challenge, Valentino Rossi. The Motorboat project is a challenge in the real world where the situation changes every moment, a challenge to use real hardware within the natural environment, an extremely high target to achieve. But this is why I feel that we are able to learn so much. Although Motorboat could not surpass Valentin Roshi this time, it was proved that robots are capable of maneuvering an unmodified motorcycle autonomously on the racetrack at extremely high speeds. Our challenge has just begun. As well as the motorboat, please look forward to other exciting projects to come. And the kind of world we are able to create using the various technologies, 
that will be realized through Yamaha's one-of-a-kind research.